I'm standing on what I believe is North America's first heated permeable pavement application under vehicular traffic load. There's also a harvesting component you see over here to my left. The sensors for the heating system are right here. We installed them about a quarter inch low so they wouldn't be damaged with the vehicles leaving and entering that garage area. This is performing just as we designed it. One of our concerns during installation though was the use of rock salts on the interlocking application out here. We didn't want any of those salts washing into our harvesting component. So we installed this drainage swale along the foot here. And you can see there's even a little bit of sediment here as that water is running off into the environment. The rest of this area is plowed with a regular plow truck and you can see no damage to our tundra, our Villaggio or Antica. This is performing just as designed. Here's our transition line between interlock and permeable pavement. Now we were concerned during the installation about that transition. So we bench cut our excavation. When we dug for our rain harvesting permeable pavement area, we built a slope, a bench, and then another slope to transition the open graded stone on our permeable to our densely graded stone. We also lined that area with a geotextile fabric. And you can see that transition is flawless. Would I abut permeable and interlocking? Absolutely.